All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my haul video for the week. Um, it's a day late, but I've had some personal things going on with work and some house repairs going on, but uh, better late than never. Uh, first up, from AWA, got uh, Rumpus Room number two. Uh, again, liking the story. Um, if you haven't watched the last videos, I kind of got a... Uh, Dorian Gray story vibe from it, um, but with a uh, looks like an Iron Maiden. And then um, Alice um, Never After number four from Boom. Uh, my LCS did not have a whole lot of the uh, covers. I usually get uh, multiple covers of it, but uh, out of the two, I really uh, really like this one. And then, um, really liking this one too. I love the first issue, Rare Flavors. It's a, um, basically the guy on the cover is a, uh, a Hindu god. I believe it's a Hindu god. And um, he's trying unique flavors. And I'll just kind of leave it at that. And of course, one of my big staples, Something is Killing the Children. You've got the... Uh, regular cover and I really love the uh, this variant cover and of course my LCS uh, threw in uh, the one for 25 again really like this with all the characters as little kids um, trick-or-treating and up um, kind of a, uh, another indie but um, broadsword comics tarot which of the black uh, rose um, I don't know why I'm so drawn to this. Um, it's, it's well drawn. Um, I do like the stories, but they come out so infrequently about every two months, I believe. Um, this is one of those that I've seen other videos on where people will, um, call it a guilty pleasure. Um, kind of like Vampirella. There's just, um, everybody says there's no substance to it, but they just buy it for the artwork and the cover. The, um... Stories I, I do like. Um, I think I started collecting them around um, issue 90. Um, maybe uh, not that early. Um, I do have uh, the first six issues, though. And then you can definitely see the earlier issues, um, where they start from and to where they end up. Uh, the newer ones, uh, to be honest with you, there's a lot more nudity in them, um, which, um, you know, doesn't affect the story. It's it can, um, I wouldn't say enhances it, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's not necessary, but it's, uh, it's kind of not necessary, but, um, you know, I do love it either way. And then, uh, one I missed from a couple weeks ago, I was looking for it, and, uh, they said that it came out, but Dark Horse, uh, Midnight Show, um, I read the premise about it, and, um, it's, uh, uh, I want to check it out. It's uh, I believe it has to do with a um, a movie reel that affects the audience. So I'm kind of eager to see what it is. And then into um, DC, um, have uh, Batman, Catwoman, Gotham War, Red Hood number two. Uh, I'm not sure where the story is going with this. It seems a little drawn out. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to see how it ends up and then um idw um killmore again i like the uh the first issue it um uh, was a little depressing um i didn't realize it was kind of futuristic but everybody in like the city of detroit has um has left um i believe a lot of people have left earth as well so their police force is really diminished so all these serial killers move to detroit so I don't know if there's a political reason that they're picking Detroit or they couldn't make up a fictional um, city. I don't know. And then into um, Image, um, Dracula, issue number one. I haven't had a chance to read this yet, but I'm really, uh, really looking forward. I like James Tanyan's um, stories, obviously, with something's killing the children. So I would like to um, see where um, he takes the uh, Universal Monsters. And then um, Edenwood. Um, again, I was kind of on the fence with this one. 
Um, I'll pick up the first issue to try it out. Um, but basically, um, the premise is demons and witches are fighting a war. I always thought they were on the same side, um, the dark witches and the demons, but um, this may be the uh, the light witches. And then um, I Hate Fairyland, um, issue number 10. I'll uh, censor the top because I got the uh, unrated version. And then um, Void Rivals, number five. Um, again, I'm still kind of on the fence with this. I'm not um, the biggest fan. I thought there would be more combination, like they said, between this and the G.I. Joe universe and Transformers. Um, I'm just kind of curious how this first arc is going to go. I may or may not um, keep up with it, but uh, a lot of people are loving it. And then... Um, Predator vs. Wolverine, number uh, two. Uh, again, I like the premise of it. I'm curious to see where it goes. Well, there's uh, been a lot of people online, uh, like Mike Spider Sp Slayer, um, you know, saying that he, the cover price is um, too much for what it actually is, and I kind of have a tendency to agree. Um, everything has gone up so much in the last couple of years. And I'm starting to see the trend in the comic books where, you know, $2.99 went to $3.99. Now all the $3.99 books have bumped up to $5. So um, it's going to get to the point where I'm going to have to really pick and choose what, uh, what I read. I'm into uh, Marvel, um, Dr. Aphra, number 37. Uh, again, we still have the Dark Droids going. And then um, D Squad number two. And then the uh, Immortal Th Thor number three. And then um, kind of hard to see, but um, I did get the blank sketch cover for um, American Psycho. Um, I was really hoping that they could come through with a uh, 1 for 10 cover of the business card one because um, that seems to be the popular cover. And then to Vault, Money Shot. Um, I can't believe that they uh, were able to get the Cherry Pop Cart, Cherry Pop Tart um, character into their story. Um, as a teenager, that was some of those comics that you kind of came across like your dad's Playboys. And i um, um, not going to be ashamed to admit it. I do have a couple of them still. I should uh, probably put them on eBay and see what I can get for them. And then, um, of course, I'm just going to skim by. It's the uh, adult cover. Again, obviously can't show you because of the uh, policies on YouTube. And then into Xenoscope, uh, Grim Tales of Terror quarterly. And then one that I'm really excited for, um, the whole reason I got back into comics was when the first um, Wonderland came out, or sorry, the uh, second series, the um, Beyond Wonderland, I believe it was, um, really got me back into uh, to comics. Um, so I'm glad to see that uh, uh, Raven Gregory's back writing, uh, and um, I believe he said this was going to be the, uh, the final, the ending of uh, the Wonderland series completely. Um, this is the annual out of time, so I don't know if this is leading into a new series or if this is just the, um, the end of it completely. Um, I did have some stuff that I'd ordered online from my comic So, um, I had a gift card, so I bought some stuff that I needed and then I kind of looked through my want list and, um, save list and a couple jumped out at me and, um, this is from Creature. Um, I only have one other set, and that's the Ravenous. So when I saw that there was another uh, Creature, a um, couple publications, I wanted to try them out. This one's called um, Forgive Me, Father. And then they had um, issue number two. And um, 
Again, they didn't do a whole lot. Ravenous only was two issues. This one was two issues. So um, hopefully they um, turn it back around and come out with some more stuff. And then um, I don't know why I had this on my list. That stuff's been sitting there for a while. But this is from Dark Horse. This is um, Flaxen number one. Um, I believe this was purely a cover buy because... Um, the uh, it looked very kind of Franz Franzetta like, uh, but the reason I'd use the uh, gift card was to finish off the uh, Dark Knights of Steel, the uh, 12 issues. My LCS had a couple that were not available, so I needed number nine and number uh, number 12. So I'm anxious to finish up the uh, the series here. Uh, this is one of those surprise ones for me. I'd had the first six issues and never got around to reading it, and then I read them all in a row, and I was just kind of uh, kind of hooked um, because um, Superman's kind of a jerk in this. But, um, anyway, that was my uh, haul for the week. Um, as always, let me know what you think about um, anything, and uh, let me know if you picked any of the similar ones up. Thanks a lot.